guitar player and a producer, so I look at all of those grounds. Thinking as a guitar player, it's like I love the analog stuff, but from a producer standpoint, there's something really nice about recording something unaffected and then being able to tweak the sounds in the box. I want to explore all those options and not limit myself. My name is Jared Meeker. Welcome to my home studio. Today I'm going to show you a new two-channel audio interface called Balance. Balance is a two-channel audio interface but allows you to plug in a whole bunch of inputs on the back of it and switch through those different inputs on the fly. Right now I'm going to show you how to use Balance and the software called Reason to process the guitar in entirely new ways. All right, getting ready to record in Reason Essentials, one thing I'll do is just set the buffer size to be really low. Latency tends to be an issue when you're playing guitar through some audio interfaces and Balance is able to operate extremely fast. I can set the buffer size down to three milliseconds, which is practically what you'd hear just standing a few feet away from your amplifier playing guitar. Balance is able to operate really well under those circumstances. I checked my levels to make sure they're okay. Now we're just gonna go over here and hit tuner and I can see my level there and see the tuning down below. So I turn on the click, let it go. So now I'm just going to do the same thing again, just to double track for an extra layer. Okay, so now I'm going to put my acoustic guitar up and grab my electric, which is already plugged in, and lay down an electric guitar track. And this is a combinator patch that works right in line with the pedal board. So as I switch through settings here, you can hear that there's a drastic difference turning on or off different presets, just like a traditional stomp box pedal. So let's just see how this comes out on this take. So that's just a little backing track I made. It's a combinator. 
If you don't know what a combinator is, it's basically a device that you can create within Reason to house a bunch of other devices. So within here, I made a signal chain thinking similar to how guitar players set up their pedal boards. When you start out, you plug into a compressor, which takes the basic guitar signal and makes the notes a little bit rounder. Then it heads into a booster, which is just basically two EQs that I boost a few dB that heads into a scream, which that's kind of the heart of the ring modulation and the Octavia sound that you're hearing. And that goes into the Line 6 guitar amp. This is all within Reason Essentials. So those basic devices make up this patch. A few other things about the stomp switch is that I'm going to use my foot to trigger on and off and when it's going to start and stop. So this is play, stop, and this is record. I can also select loop mode undo and redo and then also move up or down my different patches all right so now let's explore a more reggae dub kind of feel i've created a new patch that has the echo which is found in reason six this has a little bit more grit and character to it than what was found in reason essentials echo has feedback and coloration and diffusion and a whole bunch of different things with these foot pedals hit this and tons of reverb is added <laughs> This turns the delay level down. This changes the delay time. And then this turns the feedback far up. So there you have it. There's a few ideas of what you can do creating pedal boards within reason. It's fun. I mean, to me, that's the biggest thing about Reason that has excited me. When I turn it on, it asks me to play with it. It's like looking at a guitar. When I look at a guitar, it's so beautiful that I want to pick it up and play it. And that's the exact same way I feel about Reason. When I turn it on and I look at it, and I go, oh man, I can make something on that right now.